parts. New tires, I should say. And a chain guide slash bash guard. American Classics Vulcanite 27.5 by 2.5. Tubeless ready, all around enduro tire. The reason I wanted to get new tires was one, I really wanted to try this brand of tire. It's like a budget friendly tire. I think I paid 110 for the pair, which is pretty good. Usually a Maxxis tire will run me between like 80 or $90 for just one tire. And the second reason why I got new tires was because I wasn't a big fan of these Schwalbe tires. So the fact that I really wanted to try out these tires and I wasn't a big fan of the current tires that I have on this hardtail is what made me pull the trigger on purchasing these. This chain guide isn't anything new. I run it on my full suspension bike and I love it. It's by four years, it's like 50 bucks. Stoked to actually put something on this hardtail and give it some protection. So that way I don't break a chain or like bend my sprocket. Let's take out these tires though. Do, 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 do. Dude, I don't know how this freaking. Ah, oh, man. Dude. I am not a fan of this. There's way too many parts in this one little piece. It's like a freaking jigsaw puzzle. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different little pieces. Hopefully I remember how to put it back. I still got these tires that are brand new. Michelin 27.5 by 2.60. I'm saving them for my full suspension bike. Right now I'm running some Maxxis and they still got a bit of life left in them. So once those die out, these are gonna get thrown off. Probably should have washed this thing before. Take it apart. First impression of this tire is pretty good. Like it feels legit. It honestly feels like a pretty high-end tire. That is crazy. They're made in Taiwan. Max pressure is 50 PSI. This is a two-hand job. It. We got some cream. This is the only product I've used since day one since I started going tubeless. And I, I love it. I, it's a good bang for your buck too. Oof. This is my measuring cup. <laughs> I just keep it because it gives me an idea how much I'm throwing in my tires. I like to do one full bottle of these, which is 8.45 ounces or 250 milliliters. Dude, I am so impressed. This thing actually popped without a compressor. I'm already in love with these tires. I could never do that with a Maxxis. You hear that? That's the best sound ever. figure this out i am such a dummy all the little pieces in this through axle don't ever need to come off they have like a push system that opens and closes this red thing so that it can feed through the fork <sighs> the more you know and then once it's through you twist it and this little mushroom thing makes everything tight I just want to check the cassette. This thing was loose. I should have checked this bike from head to toe when I first bought it, but we're doing it now, so I guess that's what matters. We got the sprocket removed. It's a new day. Yesterday I was getting too late to continue this whole switching the parts thing. But yesterday we removed the crank arm and we're gonna install this now. Let me brush some of this off. You know what I've been doing lately for any type of 
screws i like to put a bit of teflon tape i got this trick from a bike shop on instagram and i noticed like when they're installing threaded bottom brackets they uh apply teflon on the threads and you don't even need a lot like you just need a small amount and then to top it off i like to add a little bit of grease on the thread Grease this bad boy up. Adding a bit of Teflon to this guy. I left it loose just because I need to run the chain through and get an idea of where I want it exactly. And then once I figure that out, I'll tighten everything down. See if we can make it happen. Dude, <laughs> first one was so much easier. We got it. This one took a little bit more work, but we still made it happen. I took out the brake pads because I figured I already have it off and I'm already working on this bike. I might as well clean them. I don't do anything fancy. I just use some isopropyl alcohol, give them a spray. Wipe them down. Check it out. This is all the dirt and the gunk that was on those pads. Occasionally I'll do this just so my brakes can get a bit more bite. And it doesn't take me too long. You know, when I'm just doing this, it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do front and rear. This quick link, feed it through the chain guide. This tool right here. Bada bing, bada boom. mess this up oh, I thought I could install the bash guard after maybe if I loosen the bolts I'm just gonna have to remove the bolts completely so I can the cool thing is that I don't have to remove the sprocket but you live and learn Clean this mess. So that's pretty much it. I'm hoping to take this thing out tomorrow and test the tires out. First impressions on the tire though are amazing. I feel like they're gonna perform as good as they look, especially for the price. I mean, like I said, it was 110 for both. And that to me is really cheap for what you're getting. Bash guard was a little tedious to install, but we got it on. 
And then I also just cleaned the brakes. I tightened my headset, I tightened my spokes, and I got everything dialed. This thing is still dirty. That's the only thing that I probably should do to it, but it'll survive. I'm really hyped on these little upgrades that I made. I think it'll improve the riding, and uh, I think it'll just feel a lot better in the rear, especially with a new tire. That's a wrap for this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.